Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. This is your host, Wibble503. In the last episode, we went through and got all the, uh, we got the limit break for Cloud, which is Omni Slash, which is his ultimate limit break. We got W Summon, which allows us to summon two summons at the same time, which is very helpful, by the way. And, uh, got a couple items from the, uh, Battle Square, and now we are traveling down, um, to the end of the game, basically, in the Northern Crater. And I, we came over a little, um, a little thing, uh, it wouldn't allow us to use Omni Slash, and I, um, I did, I googled it, to figure out why. And the reason why is because you have to have all, you have to have all the level 1, all the level 2, and all the level 3. Well, I destroyed, because you have to, for the second one you have to kill a certain amount of enemies before you can get the second one. Or no, to to get the next level, so um, to get bra to get cross slash, you have to use braver a certain amount of times to get. Um, I don't remember what it is right here. Uh, to get that one, you have to use blade, uh, blade beam a certain amount of times, and then you have to use the cross slash. You have to defeat a certain amount of enemies to get babe. Um, <clears throat> this one right here, blade beam. I don't know why I can't say that right now. So. Um, we apparently defeated the right amount of enemies, but we didn't use the, um, the limit break often enough. So we can't use it until we, after we learn that one, which will be perfectly fine. We'll be able to get past it. Um, so we're going to continue on. Run. And it's good to be getting into battles and stuff like that. That way we can get the limit break all the way. Because once we get the limit break and we're able to use it, that means we have Omni Slash, and Omni Slash will just poop on everybody. So, almost literally, actually. Bam. One thing I do like about Final Fantasy X that I do not like about this is the ability to uh, change the um, the limit break. How you get your limit break? Because uh, in Final Fantasy X, you're able to uh, change it where um, if you attack, you get your uh, limit bar to go up a little bit. And then this one is just standard of uh, them attacking you. So I'm going to use all the potions that I got. Why not? Got a lot of them, so might as well use some of them. I think you go in here. Yep. It's time to go around this way. Alright, so we get to fight these things. So we're going to do slash all. And bolt three. And we'll use quake three just in case. <clears throat> Magic extinguish. So that should, I think it takes all our, uh, yeah, put silence on us. So it puts silence on him, so you can't use any magic attacks, but... Should kill him right after this. Oh, I guess not. It... Now nah, we can just attack, it's fine. Magic breath. So this might be a waste. Yeah, magic with breath is a waste to use right now because uh, basically already got him good. Oh well. Silence goes away and we continue on our journey. So yeah, I think I was 33 or 63 when I first came down here, and now I'm already 65. So it is definitely um. So I want to come over here and jump down here so we can get that box over there. Uh, dark Dragon Breath. I thought I was going to have to use uh, like Regain or something.
I think you put fear or something on our characters. I don't know exactly what, but we'll figure it out after we get out <clears throat> of the battle. No, it's not what I meant to do. So go to menu. Oh, sadness. All right. So that's all good. We have hypers. Get that treasure chest, and it has a hero drink in it. Actually, I don't really know what a hero drink does. So I'm guessing it just gives you a boost of a certain... Um, yeah, it raises one ability. Uh, raises ability once during battle. I don't think it was that big of a deal, but... Alright. So we're going to run around here. Get into many more battles, of course. Alright, Master Tonberry. Um, Knights of Round. Knights of Round 2. We'll use it twice, but we'll only need to use it once. Uh, I'll let it do a run through. Because it'll, it'll only need to use it once, so... <clears throat> and I will be um, after this if you guys do watch the other Let's Play which is the Legend of Dragoon I will be doing recording after this the reason I haven't been recording uh, the Legend of Dragoon as much is because I use one PSP for both of my Let's Plays and so um, if I'm stuck in a place where I can't save or anything like that I just have to keep continuing on with the one Let's Play until I can um, get it to a safe spot so and where I was at um, during uh, at the beginning of this let's play, or at the beginning of this episode of the let's play, um, I would have had to have come down here to be able to get out of the place. So I figured I'll just record another episode, and then I'll come back and I'll redo the, um, or I'll start it, the uh, Legend of Dragon because I'm getting pretty behind on that, uh, considering I'm almost done with this game and not even I think halfway through the other one. So, or maybe about halfway, something like that. So. I will be doing more of these. I'm, I'm hopefully trying to... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do, do at least two or three episodes of each Let's Play um, on Saturdays. Or on Sundays, because it's Sunday today. Um, and then recording them either Sunday night or Monday morning. Or uh, Monday, like after school or something, because I am, I am a high school student, if you didn't know that. So, uh, that's what my schedule is going to be like, hopefully. Uh, what I'm going to try to get into the habit of doing is recording at least... Two or three episodes of each on Saturdays or on Sundays. That way, I can um, give you guys constant content. So more power sources and stuff like that, and then we're gonna head right back down. Actually, no, I think we have to go back this way. Yeah, we have to go back this way because we have to fall down again and do all that kind of fancy stuff. Okay, so these guys, um, I did warn you um, last time that these guys are nothing to be messed with. And I, I will say it again. These guys, if they separate, they will kill you. Um, I accidentally uh, I made one move during the last episode um, after I had stopped recording. And they split into two parts like that. And if they, if they attack you, they will kill you. So. It's like supercharged after they split apart. So be very wary of uh, when you're fighting those guys. Make sure they're... You defeat them before they split apart, and if you if they do split apart, then you gotta attack them real fast. So we're gonna drop down here, drop down there again, come through here, run around, get into another battle. Which I'm totally fine with. This is like the best place to level up, level grind if you need it. Which I probably will be doing. Um, not not a whole bunch of them, cause I don't. Yeah, see. 10 damage, it split apart, and killed him. Let's see if I can get Yuffie's turn. Life 2. Nope. So, Sid doesn't get any XP for this turn. Oh well, nothing we can do about it, I guess. So, Phoenix down. And I'll just use Mega Elixir. Alright, so I jump down this way, keep jumping down, and jumping down. So this <clears throat> is starting to get closer to the end. 
this is where we get to choose which side we want to go to. I think, honestly, we are going to choose to go to the uh, right side just because I feel like it. We haven't had much dialogue in a long time, so this will be kind of weird. The world splits into two. We'll split into two groups. Which you're going to choose, Cloud? We're going to go right. All right, then. I'll go... You want him to go left. And Tifa to go left. Nanaki to go left. Yuffie to go right. Sith to go left. Vincent to go left. And Sid to go right. That way, because it, it'll mess you up if you don't pay attention to it. You'll end up getting switched away from your party. No, no... Now don't any of you die on me. We got to get through uh we got to get through to Sephiroth. It's all over now with this. So you just got to make sure you pick the right side or you'll end up getting placed with teammates that your party mates or whatever you want to call them um that you don't want. So, just make sure you're careful. All life on this planet, indeed, it is a very it is the very life of this planet in our hands. Very life of the planet in our hands. This planet in our hands, whatever. <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy to have met you all. Really. He's about to cry. Reeve is crying. Well, looks like this is our last big job. We can't move, so. Let's all go back alive, okay? And we'll meet everybody back at the very end. This will be the end of it. We'll meet everybody back at the very end, but we will end up going the way they go too. Uh, because there are special items on each side that we are going to want to get. Uh, special items. Uh, I need. I think there's a couple of materials that we want to get. And another. There's like a couple things that we're going to want to get down here that are pretty. They're not necessarily like very important, but they're very helpful. And plus, I want to try to get as close to completing the game 100% as possible, which I know I won't be able to get 100% just for the fact of the two uh, side quests that I missed. Counterattack. Sweet, counterattack leveled up. And because I wasn't able to get uh, Vincent's uh, limit break, final limit break, or his uh, ultimate weapon either. I have no idea. I think that was a game glitch, the reason I wasn't able to get that. Alright, Malbora, this is uh, one person we want to watch out for. Uh, if You if you probably know who this is, uh, if you've played any other Final Fantasy games, or if you've played through, uh, if you did go through the um, the battle arena, what uh, Malbora does is he uses uh, uh, an attack called Bad Breath, and it does all uh, status ailments, and can end up whooping you pretty bad. So you want to be very careful for that. So we're gonna go down. So we're gonna get that. Uh, Miss Steel. I think that is a um. Yep. So it's one of these. Uh, nullifies. Let's see here. Oh, so that's the same thing, Cloud House. I think we're gonna switch that for what um. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I think we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna switch it for this one, just for the fact that it gives us more defense uh, and everything like that. Um, it does leave us where we don't have the um, drains the certain amount of stuff or certain types of stuff, but that's a price we're gonna have to pay. All right. Okay. So this guy, very um. Not this guy. I think he 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 teaches us a uh, very helpful uh, limit break. Yeah, dragon zombie. So we're gonna have regain. I think he teaches us Pandora's box. So we're gonna want to get him to close to close to dead, but not dead. Add normal breath.
So give give him a poison. So you want to be careful because you don't want to kill him. Please don't kill him. He's only got 2,000 health left. So we're going to defend. Actually, what we can do is we can use uh, fire. Ah! Er, that might actually... He may end up doing that. He may do Pandora's box as a... um. Yep, Pandora's box. He uses it as, like, the defense. So this is a very good, um, limit break that we can get. Or not limit break, but, uh, enemy skill. But hopefully it doesn't kill us, because it can actually kill us 100%. Uh, but hopefully not. Hopefully at least Cloud will survive, because he does have the most health. Woohoo! So, sweet. We actually all mi it missed every one of us, but we all learned it. So that's fantastic, actually. Sweet, so leveled up, and I'll show you guys. I'll uh, look at the enemy skill Dragon Force, Pandora's Box, right here. Um, big damage on all opponent, ignores defense. So it is a massive, uh, massive, uh, what's it called enemy skill. So definitely need to get that. I see something shiny, just making sure because I don't want to miss anything in here. Because this place is kind of like a maze, so. Bam! Getting whooped on. So I'm pretty happy because I could have swore Pandora's box you can only get um, after you go like, because there is a certain part in the game um, coming up. We won't, we will probably won't get to it in this episode. Um, but uh, there is a part in the game where you go to a certain point and there's like no turning back, basically. So I could have swore that that was, uh, it was closer to then. But actually, I guess I did see something that was shiny. It was another treasure chest. It's a good thing we came over here. Malbora. Bio 2, that's fine. Because she has the ribbon on. So he's not doesn't have that much health. He has like, I think it's like 6,000 health. But he is very deadly if you don't have that. Because it does like all status ailments. Which will make you like fight yourself, do a bunch of other crap. So it's, it's pretty frustrating. So it's just another Mega Elixir. Not really worth coming over here for, but... Oh well. More battles, more experience, so can't really complain about it all that much. Ah, so these guys. Death Dealers. So what the Death Dealers do is... um, They have another limit break that we can get, too, so... We're going to kill off B, the Death Dealer B, and we're going to... We're going to kill off B and keep A. So they only, they only have 7,000 health, so we got to be careful. Because, bam, Cloud just killed him by himself. So we need to use regain, and we can't attack with cloud. We'll attack with um, sweet roulette. So this is the um, the extra the limit break that we get. So it uses it against himself. It's automatic death. We don't learn it. That's ridiculous. That's called it's called roulette. Is because it's really. It's not very. It's not a very good uh, limit break or um, enemy skill, to be honest. But I just kind of wanted to get it because, I mean, if we can, we can. Because uh, it does end up. It could end up possibly killing one of your own characters. So you really kind of want to be weary of uh, using it. I probably wouldn't use it. It's just like I said. If we can get it, we can get it.
Oh. They think I think they have fear right now or sadness, which whichever. I don't know which one it is. <clears throat> yep, sadness. It's like a dinosaur's body or something. So we're going to let slash all and check the time real quick. Make sure we're not going too far over. All right, we still got about 10 minutes. We'll be fine. I really want to get flash. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to check right after this battle. I'm going to check the... Um, APs, the AP on all the uh, material that way I know what's going to be mastered soon, what isn't. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity. <sighs> Alright, so, not even close, not even close. My HP plus is getting close to being mastered. So Comet 2 is being close to me, Master 2. Enemy skill. So I really, really want to get that forward cut. Because that forward cut is going to be fantastic. Sense is mastered. Enemy lure. Oh, I forgot I had that enemy lure on. I was kind of wondering why we're getting so many battles. So Slash All still needs a while to go before we can get Flash. Uh, HP Plus is about to be mastered. Um, Mastered. Everything's mastered on him for the most part. So Hades, I haven't. I don't think I've showed Hades. I may have. I don't know. And yeah, we'll just keep going. I don't feel like taking their uh, sadness away right now. So yeah, this is the end basically. Uh, if we go around that side, uh, it'll be the end of the game. Not the end of the game, but this is like the part where it's uh, the end of where you can go. Like it stops basically. So we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go this way, and we're gonna get all the um, get all the stuff going up this way, and then we will. Uh, I probably will actually end up heading out, uh, cause so I can save. Um, but I'll do that off screen more than likely, cause I'll probably end up having to record two episodes of this, um, going through the whole other side now. So. But that's fine. Oh dang! I was gonna use the W um, item to get some items up real quick. And if you can see, there's a oh, so there's a material there. Got to be, got to be quick about it. I don't know how you get it. There we go. Mega all. This is. Freaking fantastic material. Alright, so let's hear. We'll just switch it for this real quick. So, I mean, as you can probably tell, um, does all for every single thing. For everything that you have on you, um, it has all. So, like, we wouldn't need to put it on him because we only have one thing that's paired up with all. But for her, I guess not. Mm. So, everybody has one thing. I guess not. Well, it, it'll be, it'll come in handy later because we'll switch around our um our material and everything like that. But basically, what it does is I would replace it with um I would replace it with this all, and now it has all for every single every single materia. So if it's just a single material, like if we had a bunch of magic on here for um if we had like oh, I'm trying to think if we had like fire eyes. Um, and other, all those other ones, if we had them all on there, instead of putting alls on every single one of them, we would only need to do it on one. So it's very helpful. Um, but we will re really need that right now. Because we're not going to be fighting the final boss uh, within the next couple episodes. I just wanted to show you guys what's down here. 
Ah, crap. So this guy's another guy that you kind of want to watch out for. Uh, he's a king behemoth. So, I'm going to put regain on. Put, um, we already put big guard. Now regain. And we're going to sense him just to see how high his stuff is. So he's level 60. 1800, not really that big of a deal. Actually, I thought it was going to be a lot higher than that. But I think he does have an uh, enemy skill that we're going to want to need. So, Oh, so, uh, slash all, since we put it on... Um, so, since we put um, the all material on him, it gives cloud slash all. Uh, we don't want that, though. We really don't want that. Because we want that double. I, I don't know. It may still give us the, the AP for it. But I'm not a really big fan of Slash. So I just want to learn what Flash is. So I'll be taking that off of Cloud. And I'll probably put it on Sid. Yep. Alright. So we're going to switch that around real quick. I forgot that it did that. So we'll take Mega All and we'll switch it with that one. All right. We're going to jump over here. Another. Oh, I guess I thought it was going to be a source because there's a lot of sources down here. If you haven't noticed already, there's a bunch of power sources, speed source, guard source, uh, luck source, I think. Sense all? That's a good thing, too. I didn't know that it did that, either. That's a that's an eye-opener. Sense all. So what it does is, I would guess, it senses all um, enemies. Surprised I actually didn't know that. Vaccine, which I'm guessing just another boost thing. I, as you probably know, I don't really use all those that much. Just for the fact that I kind of... I'm over-leveled. I'm power-leveled anyway, so don't really need to. Um, but you can use them if, that, if you feel the need. So I want to get to Sid. So I guess I'll wait. I'll use that um, when I get an enemy that has more than one... Or get into a battle with more than one person in it. I'll use the, try to see what the sense all thing does. Wow, teardrops. Hopefully, actually, if this doesn't kill him. Oh, dang it. Because I was going to use the, uh, the W item to get, because we need more, um, uh, I don't know what it's called. We need more, uh, hypers to get away, get the sadness away. We only have five left, so I want to get to 99 of those. But I'll do that, I guess, um, in the next battle. Depending on what we battle, I guess. Alright. I'll throw a big guard on. Just in case, I'll throw a big guard, and then I'll throw... Um, regain on or something. And I guess, no, I'll just, I'll throw a big guard on. That should be enough. Oh, uh, I think we have white rain. Or, no. So I guess I'll wait till next turn. Let's see here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Alright. I know I usually take this off screen, but kind of too lazy to do that right now, so. I'm just going to get it up to probably 50. That should be enough for now. And I'll do the same thing with Tranquilizer. Oh.
I might want to do that remedies too. I'll do that quick, real quick. Come on. Bam. So she did a little bit of damage. She got a little bit of damage dealt to her, but not enough to stop her. Alright, so we're going to do Cure 2. And I think... Yep, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Stay tuned next time to see us continue on through the cave. And, yeah, that's going to be it. That's all we're going to be doing in this next episode, more than likely. And then the following episode after that, we will be tre uh, we will be fighting, uh, more than likely, probably fight, start off fighting the Emerald Weapons. So, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.